Hi, and welcome to the VOR Intercepts lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to intercept the VOR outbound using two of my favorite methods. The first method is the compass rose method, where you take a piece of paper, you draw the VOR compass rose, and you input in two radials, the one you're on and the one you want to go to, the desired radial, and then it's much easier to visualize the intercept. And the second method is to use the actual VOR indicator in the airplane itself. So let's look at two examples on how to do just that. In the first example, we are flying on the 220 degree radial outbound from the VOR. And now we want to fly on the 240 degree radial outbound from the VOR using a 45 degree intercept. What intercept heading are we going to take to get there? So the first method is going to be the paper and pencil method. I highly recommend drawing a compass rose on a piece of paper like I have done so. I've drawn out north, south, east, and west. And then you want to input in the radial you're currently on. So we're currently on the 220 degree radial. You want to draw it out on the piece of paper. And when you do so, I recommend drawing out the aircraft's heading following in the same direction as the outbound radial. Now, as you know from VORs, you know, the heading does not matter at all. You can be in any which way direction on that same radial and it'll still show that you're on that radial. But just to keep things simple and so you don't get confused, I recommend keeping the aircraft heading going in the same direction outbound on that radial. Next, you want to draw the desired radial. In this case, it is 240 degrees. And just by visualizing it on the piece of paper, you can see that the desired radial is going to be off to our right-hand side. So if you were to use a 45 degree intercept to the right, 240 degrees plus 45 gives us an intercept heading of 285 degrees. You can see it's quite simple when you visualize it on a piece of paper. Now let's look at the same example but using the VOR indicator in the aircraft. When you use a VOR in an aircraft, always tune and identify the VOR and then you want to twist the OBS knob until the needle comes to a center and because we want to get away from the station, we want to see the from indicator flag. And then you always want to put the outbound radial on the top. So in this case, 220 degrees is going to be on the top of the VOR indicator. And you can see that the needle is centered, so that means we are currently on the 220 degree radial. But now we want to twist that OBS knob until we have the desired radial point pointing on the top because we're going outbound. So we twist the OBS knob and 240 degrees is on the top. Here's a rule of thumb. If you're going to the left, subtract. If you're going to the right, add. You can see that the needle now has swung off to the right hand side. So you want to add 45 degrees intercept heading onto our desired radial. And that gives us again, a heading of 285 degrees to intercept. So what you would do in real life is you would fly that heading of 285 degrees until the needle comes to the center and then turn the aircraft until your heading matches the desired radial of 240 degrees. In this example, you're flying on the 300 degree radial outbound from the VOR. And the question is asking you to intercept the 270 degree radial outbound from the VOR using a 45 degree intercept. First thing, we have to draw the compass rose on a piece of paper. Then draw the current radial you're on. So we're on the 300 degree radial, but draw the aircraft pointing in the same direction that we're going. So 300 degrees. Then we want to draw the desired radial, which is 270 degrees. And can you guess just by looking at this piece of paper, which direction we have to to turn. If you guess left hand turn, you're absolutely correct. We're going to fly a 45 degree intercept angle to the left. So 270 degrees minus 45 gives us an intercept heading of 225 degrees. Now let's look at the same example using the aircraft's VOR indicator. Before we actually use the VOR, we want to tune and identify it, get the CDI centered with the from radial on the top showing a from indication as well. So we have the 300 degree radial on the top. The needle is centered with a from indication. So that tells you we are currently on that radial. And now we want to twist that OBS knob until we get the desired radial. So we twist it and our desired radial is again going to be on the top because we're flying outbound of 270 degrees. Using our rule of thumb, if you go to the left, you subtract, go to the right, you add. So it'll be 270 degrees minus 45 degree intercept heading. Again, that gives us the answer of a heading of 225 degrees to intercept that radial. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next lesson.